What's going on, everybody? It's How To Tuesday. We're sitting here on a beautiful day right here at Hawks K. I got my friend Sam Malazzo here. Sam has won a bunch of tournaments. He set the he was the captain that set the world record or keys record for a number of sailfish. Is that correct? Yeah, I think the Atlantic record is like 84. We caught 76 in one day. So. Yeah. So what I'm what I'm about to tell you is that when this man talks. You should listen. He knows a thing or two about fishing. And what we're going to talk about is uh, today is how you instruct someone to hook a sailfish. Yeah, I mean, the most important thing is when you get that bite initially, you got to let them eat it. If you're holding that line too tight, you know, a lot of the times the sailfish will actually grab the bait in the middle. Yeah. So your hook's not even in his mouth yet. And if you don't understand that, and, you know, every bite is a little different. Some bites, you know, they hold on to it a little longer before they actually suck it down. So you got to... You know, it helps when you're in the tower, too. You can see that, you yeah. know, and uh, you can kind of guide your angler. Okay, and so when you're guiding your angler, and, and I mean, you've seen it so many times that, that you kind of know instinctually, but like like a sailfish is kind of a funny fish because it's got the bill and it's got the, the, the part of its mouth in front, and so it could, it could actually go over the bait and the bait could disappear, but you, you're saying he might not have it in his mouth. So how do you, like, is there a feel? That, that you're talking through people through um yeah like i said every bite's a little different you know there are different um minor um you know there's scenarios mm -hmm. that are a little bit different so sometimes it's uh, a quick bite where they suck it down you know if it's a really aggressive bite they'll get it a little quicker um sometimes they hold on to it longer and they'll just kind of sit there and chew on it mm -hmm. and you can see that a lot of times you'll see the the bait is flashing up by the front of the mouth so um you know yeah you just everybody's a little different you just want to make sure you let them eat it long enough the thing about letting them eat it though is is if you can um sorry i'm just that's all right. train of thought. no if you can um you know get to the rod quickly and get that bail open then it allows you more time you know what i'm saying so you have more time to after that it's just a matter of letting them eat it down yeah well so much fishing you know it's as soon as they eat it you got to set the hook yeah and you're saying you know the drop back open the bail it gives you a little bit more time and then what are you instructing the angler to do once you're sure that the the, the bait's in this in the sailfish's mouth uh how do you instruct them to set the hook on them do you just close the bail and start reeling or what do you say yeah nowadays mostly what we use is the circle hooks well that's all we use for the sailfish um, so a circle hook is, is designed to come tight slowly. You know, you don't want to set the hook. It's not like a J hook. You want to just wind and the, and the actual pressure of the line is what sets the hook. So, mm -hmm. all right. Yep. All right. Sail fishing 101 from the man himself, Sam Malazzo. Uh, that's how to Tuesday for this week. Come back for next week. We'll have another great guest.